Okay, I don't know what domestic relations. I'm trying to get uh, a clarity on what you guys do. Just let me know what you need help with, and I'll let you know what you do. I'm asking, I need to know what you do. With the domestic relations, how do you help? Because, I mean, I'm already suspicious because last time I was here, you removed me for trying to report that I had missing child support payments. Call security. I removed Well, someone removed me for trying to report I had missing child support. Didn't security come? Uh, well, I tried to report I had missing child support payments here, and security came, and they did it at another location. But today, I'm asking you, what does the domestic relations include? Okay, so you can't, I mean, this is happens from everywhere I go. I don't know why you have to get someone else to tell me what you do here. Why does she, I just asked her what domestic, why does she have to come get you? Because I asked her about domestic relations. How can I oh, I didn't know why she had to get a manager because I want to know about domestic relations. I want to know about domestic relations. Why couldn't she just tell? Huh? You handle family court services and child support. That's it. Oh, family? Family Fam court services is upstairs. They do child custody. Evaluation. Okay, well, here, what is the domestic? We, we do child support enforcement. That's what we do. Okay, well, what is the domestic services that is offered? We don't. We just do child support enforcement. If you have a child support case, we enforce it. That's it. That's all we do. Are you denying me services? If you offer domestic services, what all do you no, do here? No, we don't offer Because you're the one that calls security on me for trying to report missing child support. Maybe I need, if, you were, if you were carrying on in here. Oh, no. It, it happened at another location. The first, the duffel bag came. No, I don't even know. Yeah. Okay, it may not be you. Okay. Okay, because I mean, I saw men came with a lot of money, and then security came and removed me for trying to report that I had missing child support payments, and I still can't get to the bottom of why my, like, my child support payments were getting cut off and withheld from me. I still can't get to the bottom of it, you and I tried. Call the attorney general and ask the, the people. Well, I don't want to call. Money. I want to handle it in person so people can go to jail that sabotaged me for an abuser. We don't handle the money. Oh, uh, right. I know, but call. if you would have let me explain instead of calling security, we could have got to the bottom line of it well, last time. Yeah, and they, security okay, removed me for trying to report. Them, and I can't, no, you're not listening to me. You're, you're being more aggressive I'm than me, ma'am. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time. Yeah, you're being more aggressive than me. Help. Yeah, I'm and that's how it was last time. People being combatives. Right. I mean, I'm, you, you're being more combative than me. Ma'am, if you're going to be combative and not listen to me, you have to go. I can't help you. But if you're going to listen to me, when you have you to really work here? What's your name? With Linda Bailey. Okay. I'll give you my call. Okay. Don't forget my name. Now, okay, I don't know why you're you throwing this question, at me. If you have a question to ask and I can answer it, I will answer it. Okay, so on the door says domestic relations. Domestic and you said. Okay, so what services do you do? Um, we do child support enforcement. That's all we do. Upstairs, they do family court services. That's part of domestic relations. They do child custody evaluations. Oh, okay, so upstairs. What floor is, what floor is that? Second floor. Okay, so I can go to them and then get help. I can go to him and get them and uh, so what is it what is it called again? Family court service. Go to them for what? You have a child that needs evaluation? That's all they do. They do a child custody evaluation. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, you have to, oh you have to go to them, but you have to go to the court first. They're not gonna to talk to you unless you have a court order. You have to have a court order or the court telling you that you have to do your, your children and you or and the other parent have to do a child custody evaluation. Other than that, they're not gonna to talk to you. They can't tell you anything. Oh, okay, so let me make sure I understand. So is it impossible today to report child abuse and corruption? How do I get people to go to jail that put call security on me? I know, but I'm trying to figure out how do I report criminal activity and protect my child today? CPS won't take it. 255th District Court won't take it. Police departments won't take it. So do I have to go to the media for people to take it? Maybe. Why did not take it? Because they're corrupt. And I thought that's why the police were called on me or security or whoever was to remove me for when I was trying to report I had missing child support payment. No, no. Right. That's the job. Right. That's the problem. Oh, okay. It's coming down. Oh, 
Yeah. Yeah, I, I assume I would have to, because this is crazy. So I can't report. There's nowhere in this building that I can have them reevaluate the custody agreement and get help services, fam help family services. The CPS won't help. Police department won't help. Um, and the court won't help their criminal. I can't report that I had missing and stolen child support payments. I can't report that. I, you call security if on you me. You missing child support, you can tell us. But we only thing we can do is send out the thing, and have, you have to know exactly which payments are missing, though. You have to know when you got them, or at least around the area when you say you're missing. Right. They would cut off. I can tell you, um, it would go from 474, and then it went to 374 one month. It would change, but it was coming from Social Security. So it shouldn't have been so changed. So that might have been a social security thing, because one thing we don't do... I know, there's money. corruption. I have identity theft. Food stamps were stolen. Someone was playing games with my life and getting away with it. But I tried to record it, and people keep on having me removed, slandering me and lighting, gaslighting me, saying I'm the problem so they can get away with removing me to cover for the missing payments. So I don't know what happened, because it was the social security was garnishing it. It wouldn't be 374, and then 474, 374, and then putting me, and I was already in financial strain. And then it wouldn't disappear for six months. Was, was, for the father, the man that was paying these child support, whoever spent, they were on Social Security? Yeah. Saying? And it was getting garnished from Social Security, so it was odd that it was getting changed. That's why I tried to report it to you guys, but security removed me before I could report it at this location and the one on Zane. Now, the only reason we, <clears throat> now it's not impossible to believe you could get less money, but the only way you would get less money for us if it's us, is that if we sent money to you and then we... I know, I think it's something amiss because I had money stolen off my food stamp card. Oh, I had identity theft, yeah. but I just don't understand how they can steal child support payments, too, from Attorney General. We can't. That's kind of, well, they, it happened. Can. Yeah, it, they, unless, it unless happened. Unless they steal it out your mailbox or something. Well, well, it happened, and maybe if they can do that, what else are they capable of doing? If they can have Attorney General steal you from you to keep you financially in financial strain, that's a pretty big deal. Attorney yeah, General... Oh, okay. Well, I would have been able to figure it out if security wanted to move, having me move. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. yeah. They, the security was covering for it. So. Unless we know exactly. Which, what's your case number? Do you know your case number? Yes. Here it is right here. So where do I go? How old is your child? She's 11 now, but I have an older child. That's not what I asked you about. If what my, did you ask me? I asked about I told, payments? Yeah, and you went to you go. You have to tell me which payments are missing. I can't just go look arbitrarily. You have to tell me what payments are I missing. I just did. You're acting abusive like you did last time when you called the police to prevent me from knowing about what was going on. I'm security because if you don't. You just left, ma'am. You just left to go check to see what was going on. I went to look at the order to see why your child support stopped. I didn't ask you to do that. Well, that's what How I did. did you already have I a printed copy of the order already? Well, you that's not what. Ask me. I don't need to know all the information before. Right, I but I want to report missing child abuse. Uh, child tell me which child payments are missing. I just you... did, and you went to go look and what got the child support Okay, in October. October what year? I mean, um, if the ones okay before that in November, November twenty twenty two, I think it was twenty twenty two. Okay, I think it was twenty twenty two. Yeah, you went to go look for what payments are missing. It was an amount. And then December it changed, but it had changed periodically before that. And then the summer of, I think it was 2016 or 2017, it stopped for six months. And I was desperate for that money. And they put it on a card I didn't authorize. Then after oh, that- they put it on a debit card? Uh-huh, that I didn't authorize. But they don't, they don't care if you authorize it. They tell you you're either gonna get it through the bank or you're gonna get it on the card. Yeah, I had it they through the bank. They sent a letter telling you that. I don't know if you got it, but they Yeah, listen, it. listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you're trying to cover for a criminal activity, then you need the consequences. Okay. Like, well, I'm reporting. Steal, well, good. I'm, I'm trying to report missing payments, and your behavior is not appropriate, like it was last time when you called security. If that was yeah, you, I don't cover for people. Okay. Well, well, let, let me get to the bottom. Let me get to the bottom of the missing payments because okay. people give me a hard time. Okay. So okay. I did not authorize them to put it on the card. It was going into my account. For six months, I called every month asking if I got child support payments. They told me no. The dad said, no, I feel that money. They're taking it every month. You need to figure out what's going on. They're garnishing that money. Six months later, they put it on a debit card I didn't authorize, but I was calling every month to figure out what was going on with the card. It was going into my account, my bank account, and they put it on a card. It happened again, and um, they got a lump sum child a Social Security payment. Mm -hmm. It was $5,000 I didn't get. And then when I reported in jail on false charges that I didn't get a cent, that child support told me on my phone that they didn't get any money. That was a lie. They did $5,000.
So when I wrote the court and said I didn't get a cent in jail, then they put the money, the five grand that came up missing on a car, uh, on a, my car. So you do, you did get the money. Well, I don't want people playing games with my child support payment. And who did I talk to each month and lie and cover for? If I did not do that in court, five thousand dollars would have been stolen from me. You probably talked to call, talk to somebody from call. Somebody. Well, I, I talked to someone. Why would they lie and tell me I didn't have a payment and they gave me five thousand dollars that the payment was they were trying to steal? If you don't talk to somebody in the financial section and that money's not. Well, shown, I'm reporting again. I'm trying to report and make sure people go to prison that try to steal from me. You have to go. Well, you just, I'm, 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 this is attorney. Okay, hold on, let me make sure. This is, what did I, what building is this? This is the Dallas County Courthouse. What, what, okay, what do you do here? We enforce child support. So, I don't tell you about missing payments? You don't tell me about somebody stealing, because I don't have anything to do with that. I can't, I can't help you with that. Okay, well, let me make sure I understand. So, last time you called security, this time I'm reporting the missing payments, and you can't, the yeah, child. You can, you can I'm reporting that something suspicious is going on with my child support payments. Mm -hmm. $5,000 was missing, and they told me they didn't get it. But you said you got it. Are you, you refusing me. to let... I want to you report know, that someone is going... You said you just told me you got it. Right, the but they don't so have a right. What happened in between that, you have to talk to whoever you talk to. I have nothing to do with it. Well, there's another uh, money that was missing when it came off, because I want to report something suspicious is going on with my child support you payments. You have to report it to the Attorney General of Texas. Okay, what is this? What is this? This is Dallas County Child Support. I'm trying to see what's going on with your money. Okay, that's 2014. Okay, ma'am, are you getting money now? It's like you're getting I, money I came now. here. Let me tell you why I came here. Mm -hmm. I came here to report something suspicious or peculiar is going on. report to the wrong person. Okay, so don't report it to the Attorney General. So attorney General, we're not the Attorney General. Okay. We're okay. Dallas County Child Support. Attorney General is the state of Texas called the criminal division. Call them. Oh, okay, so wait a minute. This is where you get child support payments and I can't report it to you? No, there's nothing I can do to help you. I can't help you with criminal activity. We're I want to police. report the problem with my Man, child this support. this conversation is about to end because I already told you what to do. You have to go out, you have to go report it to the Attorney General of Texas, report it to the criminal division if you think your money is being stolen. So I can't report you. missing child support payments? No, nope, not to me. I and what's your name you. again? I'm sorry? What's your name again? Linda Bailey. I gave you my card. Oh, you did. Linda Bailey. You tell anybody you talk to me. I said, okay. No so where do I go to report that I there's something peculiar going on with the child support? The state of Texas, the criminal division. I have no, money. this is child support. I'm getting it in child support. I want to report to the child support you division. You want to report a crime. No, I'm telling you why I'm here. And if you're trying to antagonize okay, me. That's it. I'm done. I can't. I haven't had this conversation. Okay. Please don't take pictures of me. That's who she called security last time and this time. This is where I'm at. They won't let me check on my child support. They've been getting away with this crap long enough. They be in, need to be in prison. Last time they called security to prevent me from finding out about it. You don't buy this level of insanity unless people need to be in prison. This is where I'm at. They deny me services everywhere. Domestic Relations Office. I, I, I just, I, this is, it's just, uh, you go from place to place to get denied services, then COVID happened. Then COVID. No one had them. You have to see this psycho crazy behavior to believe it. Place to place to place to place to place. They lie, con, and deny services and cover for the psycho. I just walk from place to place to place, and everywhere I go with badges and um, in government buildings, they're corrupt and con artists. Place to place to place, prepared and ready for me to lie and con.